What's up everybody, it's Dono. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about three ways to find your rap style. Before I really jump into this, you have to remember that you know your rap style is something that kind of evolves as you practice and, and as you grow and as you learn new things. So what I cover is just a couple ideas that you can think about, but really, you know, any way that you engage with the art or challenge yourself or grow is gonna help you find your style. Now, let's get into these three ways. The first way to develop your own style is to recognize which artists you like and study them. By studying the skills of other talented individuals, you can start picking up on the components they do well, as well as figure out, you know, what you don't like. What you what you aspire to, practice, and what you dislike, try to stay away from. But these people have been at it for, you know, years and years and years, so they have a lot of technical skills that you can learn. Don't get confused, I'm not saying that you should copy these artists, but I'm saying try to dig out the best pieces of their work and incorporate that into your own. This is a really great way to figure out your style because you can figure out exactly what you like in rap. All right, the second way to really find your rap style is to try new approaches, and this means quite a few things. So on the one hand, it means trying new approaches in terms of, you know, kind of your, your overall style. So if normally you write very, very lyrical, complex type lyrics, maybe you try something more upbeat and catchy just to see how it feels and to see if that's the kind of music you like. Going along with that, you know, maybe you usually write like more hardcore tracks and maybe you try something a little softer. I'm not saying necessarily that you have to do these, but as you develop your style, it's kind of nice to try different things and see what really resonates with you. Because if you start in one you know, niche and stay in that niche, you may be missing out on something you actually enjoy more. This might sound totally contradictory to the last thing that I said, but also when you're trying new approaches, try things that you actively don't like in artists that you listen to. You know, like I was saying, if, if you don't like really like that catchy pop stuff, maybe you just try and make it make one song like that just to see what it's like. At the very least, you'll be more familiar with what it takes to make that. And, you know, you may find that you like it or that there's some other components that you can still integrate into your style. The other part that kind of goes with trying new approaches is trying new approaches in terms of how you actually put your craft together. So I'll give you one example. Uh, I used to just sit down and write a verse completely out every time. Like if I couldn't sit down and write out a verse, then I wouldn't do it because that's what felt most comfortable to me. But there was one time where I was on like a tight deadline and I had a lot of other stuff going on so I was forced to write kind of in these little pieces as I went back and forth between other tasks and I actually found out I really really like writing that way. Originally I thought writing like that would be too disorienting right because I'd be doing something else my mind would be over here and then I'd come back and I have to focus again and then I'd go over here but what I found actually happened was while I was doing those other tasks the idea kind of you know had time to mull around in my head and became refined so that as I came back to write it, it was so much easier. So that's just one example, but keep trying new approaches, try new ways to write, try new ways to, you know, put a verse together, try new styles, genres. That's really gonna help you feel out your style. The more you push your boundaries, the more you're gonna figure out where they are. The third piece of advice I'd give you if you're trying to figure out your rap style is to listen to your audience. Now you need to take this, you know, with a with a grain of salt because you don't always want feedback to influence who you are as an artist or what you're trying to do. You know, if you have a very clear, strong message that you're trying to get across and it's not necessarily resonating with people, you may want to stick with, you know, what you've been doing. However, most of the time in my experience, what I've seen is whatever kind of, you know, music you're creating that gets the strongest reaction from people is usually your best work regardless of if that's you know positive or negative it's usually the work that people remember and react to that you have a chance of spreading to a larger audience again that may not be your goal you may not you know really care like how many people listen you just want to do it to do it that's totally fine um, however if that is one of your goals listening to your audience is going to be key as well as defining your audience you know like who are you trying to make music for? What is the point? 
I'm, I'm not saying that you need to, you know, change your style every time someone says something. But if you keep in mind who you're delivering it to, chances are your style is going to, you know, slowly gravitate towards what those people are looking for so that you can make a bigger and bigger impact with your music. You have to pay careful attention and make sure the feedback that you take is actually relevant, right? Because there's going to be a lot of people that say like, this sucks, but that happens to every single artist, no matter who it is. So as you get feedback, look for stuff that's specific and has points you can actually change. That's just one more place that you can look for as you kind of develop your style. That's all I've got for this video. So if you have any questions or comments, as always, feel free to leave them down in the comment box below. Beyond that, check out my website, rapbetter.com. And if you want to check out my course, I'll put a link down there in the description. It's everything you need to know to learn how to rap. And beyond that, keep practicing and peace. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date on the videos. And if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, put them down in the comment box and I'll get to them as quick as possible. See you guys.